my heart's beating a million miles an hour Spent my days dreaming Think I finally found her From the moment that I met you I always knew, always knew Let's build a house that we can run to All that's left to say is the best part of me and you look so handsome i could hardly speak from the moment that i met you i always knew always knew you're the dream notes would come true now all that's left to say is Jessica, saying these vows today is not easy for me. Not because of what I'm about to say, but because you know I'm not allowed to speak in public, or read, or do math, or, or basically anything you don't give me very specific instructions to do. Unless I ask you what you want for dinner, I should already know that. These past years with you have been some of the most challenging and rewarding of my life. In these years, I not only met the love of my life, I gained a second father and mother, I gained brothers, I gained sisters, I gained nephews and nieces. You have pushed me to grow into the man I am today. You put up with my highs and lows, my hobbies and my cheapness. The only reason I have matching socks today, Jessica, is because of you. While writing these vows, I thought a lot about us, the word us. I, I thought back on our memories, like the first time we met. I was scared to talk to you. I, uh, I wasn't scared of you, I was scared of Mike. <laughs> and, uh, I also thought about the future us, the family and life we will create. While writing these, I did some reading. I wanted to use bigger and fancier words so your family would know you married a smart man. In that reading, I came across a quote. 
and it really summed us up. Quote goes, people are weird. When we find someone with the weirdness that is compatible with ours, we team up and we call it love. That's by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Jessica, I couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life with anyone else. I have never met someone so strong-willed, caring, smart, and thoughtful. If everyone in the world was just a little like you, the world would be a better place. I'm just glad my world has you in it. Jessica, you are my person, you are my rock, my moon and stars, my honey boo bear. And now my wife, I love you. Broderick, sometimes in life, you make decisions knowing full well it's a coin toss. But choosing you, that's like deciding to breathe. Utterly natural and essential. When I first met you, I saw more than just a handsome face and a young, promising race car driver. I saw my future best friend. Little did I know, you would become the champion not just of the track, but of my heart. Teaching me that life's greatest joy isn't found on the podium, but in the everyday moments we share together. I couldn't help fall for you after seeing the honest, hardworking man behind the wheel with endless drive. Yes, that's a double entendre. You are a man that treasures family and earns respect as effortly as you win, as you win races. I fell for you when I realized that no victory lap was complete without you by my side, your unwavering support pushing me to achieve the once unthinkable. Now as we prepare to cross this new starting line, I vow to match your dedication with unwavering loyalty. I promise to support your dreams and to stand by your side as you continue to conquer life's challenges. On this beautiful journey ahead, I see us taking the scenic route, building a family, a home, and a life filled with respect, encouragement, and re relentless self-improvement. I see us nurturing our own little champions, encouraging them always to follow their dreams just as we have chased ours. Today I vow to laugh with you, grow with you, love with you, and figure out what that pesky vibration in the left rear is with you. <laughs> On this day, our day, I'm committing my whole self to us. They say love is the greatest adventure, and with you it truly is. You are the light of my life, brightening my darkest days, and guiding me towards boundless joy and laughter. As we embark on this lifetime partnership, I know whatever the road ahead brings, our love will endure, becoming stronger with every challenge and sweeter with every triumph. I love you. Love you too. Jessica, I've been waiting for today since the moment you were born. And sometimes I wondered if it would ever come because you're so strong, so independent. But here we are with all these people on your biggest day. My last born, my only daughter, one of my very best friends. Broderick, like a lot of fathers, I never thought anybody would be good enough for my daughter. But I've had the privilege of watching you grow up over the last seven years too. And I've seen the way you care for her. I've seen the patience you have with her. And I see the love that you have for her. I couldn't be more proud to call you my son. I'm very proud of the both of you. And I couldn't have asked for a better day. So here's to you. Brought it to Jessica. Here's to you. Your beautiful journey ahead. My desire for both of you 
is to be able to uh, look back at any point in your life and say, everything we do is great. To Jess and Broderick, cheers to love and happiness. And remember, whatever journey you two take, every time you two write more of that beautiful love story you have together, I'll be there, crying, happy tears. Broderick, you became my brother a long time ago. And Jess, I hope you know that you now have an additional brother, and I love you both. So, let's raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Boggs. Forgive easily, love hard, and support each other always. Take time to listen to each other, be compassionate. You won't always agree, but you should always try to understand. Welcome to the family. And I couldn't be happier for the both of them. And I just wanted to say congratulations. And everybody party hard for them tonight. Cheers! <laughs>